Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial video. Um, today's video is going to be on how to use the Harpoon anti-ship missiles in the F-18s. We got two, one under each wing there and there. Um, we got a couple of ships up ahead of us over there. Um, actually first I'm going to active pause. Um, controls that we're going to need, pretty basic. We're just going to need weapon release um, and sensor control switch right and or left um, in order to set the... Um, the air to surface radar says soy um i think that's about it in master arm of course and air to ground mode which is just two on your keyboard or whatever for whatever other binding that you have for it um so first thing we want to do like i said go into air to ground mode um we'll set up our harpoons first so we want to click on this this is hpd um mode we're just going to be doing bearing only launch today flight we'll set it to medium this high is it'll fly at 35,000 feet medium 15,000 and low 5,000 feet it's basically useful to um to increase the range obviously the higher that it's going to be flying at the farther range that it is but the more easily it will be able to be intercepted um by air defense systems on the ships we're going to go with medium today um and for the terminal uh portion of its flight we'll set this one to skim and we'll set the other one to pop up. So first thing, we're well. Next thing, what we'll do actually is come over to here with um, sensor control switch right to set the radar as soy. Set this up to 80 miles and set it to C here. And we'll let that start scanning for targets. And we just set altitude. Hold on. So you can see we have two targets here. So we want to come over here. Oh, I just remembered the controls we're going to need. We're going to need um, target management switch, or th sorry, throttle designated control on D press, and also up, down, left, and right, or whatever axis you have to slew it. Um, and we're going to want to press and hold PDC D press while we do this. Slew it over one of the targets and release. And then. We'll fly to get the nose over here onto that target, which is, let's just turn this back on, uh, 277 as you can see, so we'll press UFC, bearing, 277, and enter. Um, search here, we're not going to do anything, that's useful basically for when the um, seeker will start searching for targets. Um, if you want it to only start because there could be other ships in the area um you can also set waypoints for them to fly along with the um harpoon uh turn point we're not going to be doing that because they're just right ahead um and there's no area we need to try and avoid with them um so this one's pretty much ready to go so you can see up here we have harpoon bearing only launch and in zone which means that we're in range to the target so we'll release that one off that wing and then this one's automatically selected we're going to change this one to pop up so instead of flying really low at like 60 or 70 feet above the sea uh, it'll fly in low and then it'll do a high g pop-up maneuver and then come down on top of the target so we'll come over here i'm going to try and designate the other target um and i'm going to wait until we're a little bit closer for this one just to give them some separation. Just for the sake of this um, mission, I have disabled the ships engaging these, but in normal missions, they will absolutely shoot at them because um, they're relatively slow moving and um, can get hit pretty easily by the ship's defenses, um, like Z-Wiz or whatever the Russian variant is, or Chinese variants of that are called. Um, so we'll just keep flying ahead right here for a few more seconds. Oh, we want to set our range, our bearing rather, sorry. So that's going to be 280. So under USC, bearing 280. That's important because it will fly along the bearing and it defaults to due north and they will just turn due north and just go into nothing until they lose all their velocity, their momentum, and impact the ocean. All right, so we'll fire this one off right now. We'll just set up another little 
bit of an orbit here. These are fire and forget. You don't need to um, keep tracking them. They don't need a laser or anything either. We'll just go to the F10 map here and try and find these. And we'll just speed this up here a little bit. You can see here that they're in their kind of terminal skin phase of flight, so they're only at 65 feet above the ocean. And they're getting about within 10 miles now. So we'll watch these and wait for them to impact. And speed it up again. See this one is starting to do its pop up maneuver. This does make it a bit more easy for targets to be um, hit, or the missiles to be hit by air defense. Alright, as you can see, those two went hit right into that, so it sunk and is sinking. Um, I was hoping to try and get enough separation on those missiles so that they wouldn't both hit this one, because I knew one was enough to sink it, but I think you get the point. Um, they're a little tricky sometimes just because you can't, you don't have that much control over what they do. You can, you get them into a general area and then they kind of just do their thing. Um, so there are other weapons that you can use if you really need to destroy a specific ship. Um, either you could use JDAMs or DBUs or... Um, the slams or the extended range um, slams, which I'll probably cover in another video. But anyway, hopefully you found this video useful, informative, helpful for some of your future missions. Um, I think that there are other modes to do. I don't really know how to use them. This is the one that I typically do. They're mostly just for setting um, turn points and things like that so that uh, you can have them avoid a certain area if there are other ships you don't want them to go for or an island that might have air defenses that you want it to avoid instead of going right over it. Um, you can set turn points for those. You're basically just designating a waypoint or inputting coordinates um, for them to turn at. But as I said, I hope you found this useful, um, and I'll see you in the next video.